Hello everyone, this is Bam Dele from Delaware Studios. Welcome to another episode of Android Programming. I will be looking at the drag and drop uh, functionality in the Android layout. I uh, will be using the relative layout as uh, the XML for this application. And uh, we're going to see how we're going to uh, code up uh, a drag and drop uh, effect on an image right on the screen of your phone uh, on the screen of uh, the application so we're going to click and drag to one axis from the x-axis to the y-axis and we're going to play around with uh, the flow okay without much ado i'd like to take you straight to my development environment which is android studio i'm going to take you through a high level uh, rundown of how the application actually uh, flows okay right in my left I have my Java class which I only have one Java class to be precise which is the main activity and then the layout I have my activity underscore main which is the default uh, UI of this application I have in my menu the main XML and also the values the dimens uh, which is which stands for the dimension which is for the portrait and the landscape I have the, my strings and also the styles that XML and also the build gradu that actually uh, build up this application. Okay, let me go straight to my activity main and let's see how the UI of the application actually is. The XML is, um, is in a relative layout whereby you have the layout with an height, matching parents, and also it has a background color, uh, which is like a, 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 a green, to be precise. Okay, there's an image view which, we, which has an idea of image view, and also the width and height is wrapping the content and the align align parent top and center horizontal are set to true i want you to look at this android source this is where i call on the launcher application which is the normal or uh, android logo so it is going to serve as our image in which will be uh coding of the drag and drop effect on it okay i'll go straight to my main activity where the logic of the application actually sits uh, we have uh, the main activity that extends activity you know we imported uh the view group the view on click on touch listener this time not on on click we also imported the image view and the relative layout okay we have four fields there the image view uh with uh the image variable img and also the view group with root layout we have an integer the private integer which underscore x delta and also the underscore y delta okay uh, the onCreate method actually uh, call on the super class onCreate and also sends the content view to the layout activity main over here. And also, we try to cast in some values to our variable. The root layout we call on the view group, whereby we find the ID, which is the view root, and also the IMG, the image view private uh, view here. We cast on the image view to the root layout. And also call the ID of the image view and uh, we call on the relative layouts uh, and also the layout params you know by instantiating it with a new keyword and also setting some parameter which is 150 by 150 and we set the image to the layout parameters call the uh, passing in the layout params as the parameter okay and we also set on touch listener to the IMGR variable which is the image okay this is going to call on the choice listener uh, method which i'll be talking below all right and it with a new keyword the choice touch listener implements on touch listener this time uh whereby we have a public boolean on touch passing two parameters the view and the motion event okay we're going to set two fields here the integer x I will cast an integer to the event by, by getting the raw x method and also the y getting the y uh, the raw y method okay we're going to use a switch statement here or by we're going to have the event we get the action and so we're going to test if the we were by getting the action on the of the event and the motion event calling on the action max okay there's a first case here if the motion event is uh, going downwards, which is the action down, 
we're going to call the relative layout the layout params and we're going to call on the get layout params setting out the delta and the the y delta and the x delta to the left margin or for the x delta and to the top margin or the y delta okay the break so we're going to continue with the case so if the motion event is the action up going up we're going to break it up okay we're going to take care for the action pointer down also likewise the action pointer up and the action move okay in the action move we're going to have the relative layout likewise we did uh, for the action down the relative params and uh, we're going to set the left margin thereby we're going to minus the x the value for x minus the underscore x delta and also the top margin we're going to minus the y from the underscore y delta and we're going to set the right margin to minus 20 50 that's 250 and we're going to set the bottom margin to minus 250 these are all set on the layout params and we're going to set the view by thereby calling on the set layout params we talked about which is right up there okay this layout parameters, uh, parameters where we set it on the image and we're going to pass in the layout params itself as the parameter whereby wherever we set the left margin the top margin the right margin and the bottom margin so our case has been uh, well handled and the root layout we set on the invalidate method and we return true with this we can be able to click and drag the image the value of the image from the image source from one position to the other position to different positions in the surface of the application and without much uh, uh, analysis anymore i'm going to run this application unless it's in my general motion in the later okay click on my run button I'm going to try to put my journey motion to program so I can easily see what the application is. Okay, there's the view of the application. You can see the layout, uh, the title, which is a drag and drop relative layout, and also the uh, drawable PNG we used uh, as the value for the, as a source for the imagery. Now I'm going to click and drag this imagery from one location to the other. Can you see that? Okay, this can actually be used with the uh, floating button if you've noticed uh, um, a Facebook application whereby once you collapse you can easily drag the, the circle uh, reference from one point to the other this is just uh, one of these functionality whereby they set uh, the X uh, layout and also the Y coordinates okay Think this fine. Uh, I hope my listeners have been able to get one or two things here, and I will. Okay, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye bye.